And so we begin. All right, hello everybody. Um, so we're going to start with um, the very beginning, an overview of statistics, section 1.1. Um, so, in the first chapter, we're really going to be just learning a bunch of terms and um, not doing any calculations per se, but we just want to understand what what uh, we mean by statistics and what is data and, and what's the, the basic uh, the game that we're playing. Um, so, data is information, right? And specifically, it's the information that comes from observation, counts, measurements, or responses. Okay, um, that's where we get, you know, we get this information from surveys or, or like I said, observations or whatever. Um, and then statistics is the science of collecting and organizing and analyzing and interpreting data. Okay, so we have data as information and then statistics is what we do with the data. So, and in particular, so what we're going to be doing, we yes, we'll spend a little bit of time talking about how to organize it, but we're really going to be concentrating on it analyzing and interpreting data and maybe drawing conclusions from that um, and so this when in the case when we're interpreting data let's get a, a pen that works um, this is inferential um, called inferential statistics um, as opposed to um, um, descriptive statistics so the way we have a game is we, we it's it's impractical to ask a certain question of everyone uh, in the United States. So we pay, we pick a, a small subset of people and then we ask them that question and we get some data from that. Okay. So um, that's the difference between a population and a sample. A population is the collection of all outcomes, responses, measurements, uh, or counts. Um, that are of interest. And then the sample is a, just a subset of the population. So it's actually all you really have to realize, remember, is a sample is a subset of the population. The population is access to like the universe. Okay. And the, pop, the sample is a, a subset of that universe. So here's some questions about what, what's, which is a population, which is a sample. Um, if we talk about the salary of each member of a major league baseball team um, that's the pretty much everything right all of all the baseball players the salaries of all the baseball players so this would be a population okay. um, the blood pressure of 30 patients in a hospital well assuming there are more than 30 patients in the hospital we're talking we're talking about a subset of this right a subset of all the patients in the hospital so this would be a sample The annual revenue of each store in a shopping mall. The key word there is each, right? So uh, we're talking about that's the universe here. So this would be a population. The annual revenue of 15 stores in Chicago. Well, that would be, um, that, that, again, there are more than 15 stores in Chicago, right? So there's a, this, is a, this is a sample. And then the political party of every Illinois state senator, because of that term, every there, that means this is the universe. We're not really caught worrying about every about other states, right? We're talking about just the the Illinois state senators, and we're and so this would be um, the this would be our universe. We're restricting our universe to Illinois, so this would be a population. And notice that this would this political party. This is this is obviously. Um, we're not talking about numbers. So data can be can be can be different than more. data is information. It doesn't have to be numbers. And we'll be talking about that that distinction in the next section. Um, now, just to emphasize, what is the population and what is the sample? Um, uh, so, uh, in this number six, we have a survey of one thousand to twenty U.S. adults found that 42% uh, uh, trust their political leaders, or they trust their political leaders. Okay, so what is the population? What's the sample? All right, and, um, all right, so the, um, 
Now the sample is not are, are not the the 1,020 adults, U.S. adults. What the sample is is the responses of those 1,020 adults to the question, "Do you trust your political leaders?" Okay, so the sample would be the responses of the 1,020 U.S. adults. to the question about trust and their leaders. And then the population would just be re the responses of all U.S. adults. in a survey of 283 high school students found that 241 of them um, planned on going to college. All right. All right. So the um, the survey, okay, now the, the 241 is not that we, we can almost ignore it. Because really, what we're what we're caring about, what we care about, is we the, the population is going to be the responses to all high school students uh, asking, "Are you planning on going to college?" And so we asked this. Um, we got 283 responses. Okay, so but that's our that's our sample. Okay, so this is the um, would be the, the responses to. Um, uh, of, of the 283 student, high school students about, say, college plans. And then the population would be the responses of all high school students about college plans, okay? All right. Now, one, two, two more other terms, and um, I, I can see I've already made my first mistake of the semester, so bear with me. So, we have a population of a sample, and now we want to talk. Actually, talk about the um, the numbers that are associated with with these, and well, that's a parameter. And instead of sample, this should be statistic. So, my bad. Hopefully, you're watching this video, so you can. Yeah, and for reading, reading the book, and so you can uh, realize my mistake. Okay, so a parameter um, describes the population, a statistic describes a sample. Okay, so a statistic, a uh, parameter is a numerical description of a population characteristic. Um, the statistic is a numerical description of the sample characteristic. Now we could, uh, we could, uh, the way we can remember is a parameter population, they begin with the letter P, sample, and statistic both get, begins with the letter S, okay? So, um, and in the way the game is played, you're, you, you, usually it's impossible to, to calculate what the parameter is directly. So we take a, we take a sample, then we compute the statistic. So, um, let's say if, we, if we're talking about the average salary of a, uh, the average salary for 45 of a firm 300, Engineers is eighty nine thousand dollars. Okay, this um, this average this this is associated with a sample, so this would be an example of a statistic. Okay, because just this just comes from this sample of four uh, forty five salaries. Okay, um, then the if we have uh, the next one in twenty sixteen. 62% uh, of U.S. governors are Republican. Well, we're talking about all U.S. governors, right? The we're taking basically the the the, the, um, the data set is the political parties of all U.S. governors, right? And it just so happens that 62% of them were were 
a Republican in 2016. Okay, so because of this, this is this would be a parameter. Okay, we are not talking about a sample. Okay, this 62% that that's not that that the 62% of governors that's not a sample that the, 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 the we're talking about the all all the U.S. governors and then this this describes something about the set of all U.S. governors or the political parties of all U.S. governors. Then last one we in a survey of 400 uh, computer users, 7% um, said their computers malfunction, and because there's are there, there are obviously more than 400 computer users. Okay, um, the and the, so the um, so this would be an example of statistics. Every every anytime you see about survey, the result is going to be a statistic because you're taking a sample. All right, all right. So perimeter uh, parameter go, is a, describes a population. Statistic describes a sample, and um, data is information. And that was really all what we wanted to talk about today or for this lesson. So I think you have enough ammo now to do the first section, and we'll see you next time.